My, oh my god, every time it moves, I want to cry. <laughs> What is going on? Andy Gabs here back for another vlog and uh, this video is mainly going to be the Reptile Super Show which I am at right now with MJ Exotic Cartel who's right there and then Forrest Fanning who's uh, right there. But before we get into the Reptile Show, last night I went and actually got a uh, little tattoo so I filmed a little bit at the tattoo shop and then driving my buddy's uh, $200,000 Porsche 911 Turbo. So I'm gonna run that footage now, but then we'll get back to the actual reptile show. Walk around, we'll show you everything that's going on here. Tons of people, tons of different animals. But for now, let's head to the tattoo shop, which is actually yesterday. So let's watch that video now. I'm starting the video at like, I don't know, what time is it, Lainey? Like seven o'clock? Yeah. Like seven o'clock at night. Um, but I'm about to get a really quick tattoo. I'm getting a lightning bolt on the outside of my finger because as you guys know, Scarlett's middle name is Storm. Lightning bolt, Storm. Uh, I'm sure you can see it. Then we are gonna take the, uh, the Porsche out right there. That's Wes's uh, Porsche 911 Turbo. We're gonna take that out and uh, cause some madness out on the streets. I think we might head to a parking, parking garage and get some cool videos. Um, but for now, let's go check out the shop and check out everything that everyone's tattooing right now. So uh, that's Lindy right there. That's Wes's wife. And that's Kelsey. She's getting her eyebrows um, micro dermabladed. Micro bladed. Micro bladed. It's like a, they like razor blade it and then fill it with ink. I don't understand no, the whole process. But it looks really cool. It looks good. So she's getting that done. Wes is over here tattooing that sweet Indian Native American lady. We'll check out a time lapse of that in a second. And then we got Roman who's tattooing this lovely lady over here. Uh, I'm not sure what he's tattooing. I haven't really like gotten a good look at it, but. Damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all good. Save me money anyways. <laughs> Alright, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my tattoo started. Alright, so just getting set up right now. Um, I don't even know your name, man. I'm sorry, but... Machete. Machete. He's gonna be doing my tattoo. Do you have, like, Instagram or whatever? Yeah. Secret. Alright. Society 787. Secret dot society 787. First link in the description will be his Instagram. Uh, but we're just getting set up right now. Put the stencil on and then we'll uh, get going. Uh, just finished up the tattoo. I'll show you guys in a minute. We are uh, about to take the Porsche and uh, go for a little drive. So now I think we're gonna show off the coolest feature of this car. That's the flamethrower feature. You uh, do launch what's control. Launch, I'll launch it once right here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do uh, little flames for you and then we'll do a launch. And then I think we gotta head back to the shop because Kelsey's tattoo is only gonna take like 30 minutes. Um, she's getting the same tattoo that I got. But for now, flames. <laughs> All 
right, so it's not done, but the uh, tattoo you saw Wes doing, which was the time lapse before we went and got in the Porsche, definitely not done yet, but I figured I would show you guys what it looks like so far. So badass. Thank you for letting me film, man. I appreciate no, it. No problem, bro. Yeah. All right, y'all. So at the expo, walking around, uh, my friends from SoCal Scales are here. Right now, I'm just walking around and trying to find SoCal Scales, but I do not know where they are at. You just passed them. Did I? Uh, where's that? Where? Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, yep. I did just pass him. Uh, that's MJ right there. Yeah. I'm here with him too. You have a YouTube channel, right? Uh, Snake Trap Sessions. Snake Trap Sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So uh, found SoCal Scales. I did just literally walk right by them. I don't know how I didn't see them. But take a look at this. This is something that you definitely do not see every day. Uh, this is a Toke Gecko that's sitting on my hand, not trying to run away, not trying to bite me, not trying to take my finger off, not growling at me. It's just nice. I don't, I'm not 100% sure uh, what's going on. But it is a super friendly little Tokay Gecko, so I'm gonna take out some stuff here at the SoCal Scales booth, show you guys some cool stuff, uh, and then we'll walk around the show some more. Show some more. We will walk around the show some more. What's up, you gonna bite me? How many times? Oh no, you're oh, friendly. God, he's professional. beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, we got the friendly uh, yeah. GTP no, thing. he's gonna bite me. He's getting so lucky right now. <laughs> no, he's, he's gonna turn into it here in a second. But yeah, so this is a, a Sarong locality green tree python. Uh, super, super pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen older versions of these, but as they get bigger, they're gonna turn all kinds of colors. Anything from, you know, solid green to green and yellow, green and black, all kinds of beautiful colors. And they have that little black thing on their tail that you can see right there. They use that as a lure. Uh, to pull in food, so they make that look like a little bit of a worm or something like that, and stuff comes by and tries to uh, tries to grab that. I have no idea what he's doing. And then he's doing. And then he's doing. And then there you go. He bit me. See, it doesn't hurt. It just scared me. So I think I I think the camera twitched. But uh, yeah, super pretty green tree python. All right, guys. So still walking around the show with uh, Mr. Forrest, just checking around some cool stuff. So I saw these guys and I figured I would show you. Southern white lip pythons. So the glare kind of sucks. But still super pretty. Okay. Did you say, can I buy it? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, they're about to get sold right now. Okay. But uh, still super pretty you animals. Take, like partial PayPal, partial cash. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, DM Exotics has those guys. Super cool. I'm uh, yeah. just going to walk around and show off some more random See stuff. Good. Yeah, Forrest has already been around, so he's gonna kind of guide me through the uh, cooler stuff here. Yep. All right, guys, so we were just walking around and we saw this guy from Mother's Nature Chameleons. It's a yellow giant Parsons chameleon. And look at this guy, so he's gonna tell you guys a little bit about it. This is Dragon Eyes. He's a long-term captive. He's been in the country for a couple years now. While I'm not in favor of wild-caught animals, we need the blood. There's very, very, very few people that even have the yellow giant. We're fortunate enough to have some eggs in an incubator, so we'll have some captive bred YG before long. Uh, this guy's really big. He's closer to uh, 900 grams. He eats pinky mice, Madagascar hissers, Australian stick bugs, Vietnamese stick bugs, pink wing stick bugs, dubias, orange heads. We diversify their diet. I have a mentor, his name is Mr. Peter Nikas in the chameleon world, the chameleon godfather. Uh, Peter teaches all about uh, bee pollen and that's really what we're big fans of. Take something sweet that the chameleons like, that the crickets or the feeders like and pack it with bee pollen. When you go there the next day, you'll see the bee pollen is gone which means that your feeders are loaded with bee pollen. See this is what chameleons do is they'll go crawl up in a tree and find a flower and hang out by it. As the bees fly on that flower they're going to pluck them out. And, um, we're all about responsible herpetoculture. If you look at our cages, you can walk around this show and find a $30 chameleon, a $50 chameleon, whatever the price is. Just please don't skimp on its habitat, on its enclosure. You know, responsible herpetoculture, there's this stupid chameleon kit that we need to get rid of. And then throw away the lights, keep the cage, and grow the cage as the chameleon grows. But ultimately, we need to get this education out there so these animals can thrive. You know, you. You don't do it right, and the only thing that suffers is the animal. They tell you to water an animal, a panther, for 15 minutes. Where does 15 minutes of water go in these cages? It's going to go on your hardwood floor, it's going to go on your carpet, and you're not going to do that again next time. Reach out to us, 
I wish you guys were all out here at the San Diego Super Show. Cool, so again, Mother's Nature's Chameleons. That guy is absolutely awesome. Thank you again for talking absolutely. to us, I appreciate it. You know there's another one up there. Oh, okay, yeah. another guy. So probably the, the craziest booth here at the uh, the San Diego show is John's Jungle. Uh, I actually showed him last time. You had a pair of white lip pythons in Pomona, right? Maybe, or you had something that I, I know for a fact I filmed you before, but uh, it's definitely the craziest table here again. It's worth coming all the way out here just to see this. Yeah. Table. It's crazy variety. So check all these guys out. Sand monitors. Snake neck turtles. Those guys are cute. Are these Space Colombian or are these the Princess Diamonds? So these are, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I have some that have some orange flecks in them, and those are from the Central Line. Okay. Get it. Can Colombians get specs too, though, when they, when they're bigger? Yes. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure my female is Colombian, and she's got a lot of specs. Specs are cool. I think they're really cool. I, mean, I, I really yeah. like them. All right, guys, so I've been hanging out with Chad Gaines here. He's right there uh, making a sale to some customers, but here at Bug Cage Company, and I showed you guys this a little bit earlier, he's got every bug you can imagine. Literally all bugs, tarantula scorpions, assassin bugs, there's millipedes. Millipedes are dope. I like them. Um, all kinds of centipedes that are right there. I, I won't touch those. Those are a little bit too scary for me. All of these right here are all scorpions. These are all baby tarantulas. More scorpions and tarantulas over there. And then more tarantulas right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys just heard that, but the US Arc auction is about to start, so I have to hurry. But I told Forrest that I was gonna hold a scorpion. So I'm gonna take out a uh, desert hairy scorpion. My goal is to get it out by myself, hold it for a minute, and then put it in by myself. Uh, but I do have the expert standing right there just in case I freak out he's gonna he's gonna help me but I'm gonna hand the camera over to Forrest you can flip that around if you'd like yep all right let's do it I'm good I'm a thug I'm an experienced reptile keeper yep and I'm gonna be fine so I'm gonna try to like pick up a little bit of sand underneath him so like I don't have to grab him you know what I mean does that make sense to you guys yep. I think it might oh my god I don't know if you guys can see the, oh, it moved. I don't know if you guys can see the stinger, but it's 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 right there. I do not want to get my, my oh my God, every time it moves, I want to cry. Woo. I'm, I'm literally physically sweating. Um, I have another shirt, but it's in my car. So I don't want to get too sweaty. Forrest is like getting close-ups, but he's putting yeah. the microphone right over the scorpion. So, oh my god, every time it moves its tail, I want to cry. Oh, buh, buh, buh. Do you zoom with this thing or no? You can zoom. Don't so zoom. No, yeah, you can. You, oh, okay. oh my god, it moves fast. It's got like, oh, bruh. Look, he's got his little pinchers out. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad. Don't do it. My last Pomona video, Got like 10,000 views with no bites, no stings. You guys already got one bite for that green tree python. We do, we do not need a sting, um, but you know, shameless plug, go check out the other, uh, oh, the other reptile expo video. All right guys, so I did it. And uh, before we leave, I'll do, I'll do one more thing for you guys before we leave, real quick. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this guy, oh my God, please don't do anything crazy. Uh, no, no, no. Gentle, 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 gentle. Oh my God. You said you had another shirt in your truck? Do you, have, another, do you have extra underwear? No extra underwear, so I might have to free ball a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid back on him. Give me give me one second and I'll show you guys something else. Okay, so something I'm nowhere near as afraid of. These guys don't really scare me. You know, they can't sting. I don't think can they sting? Nope. I don't think so. Yeah. That's why they're called tailless, right? They don't no, have a no, they just don't tail. have a tail. Look. Okay, they don't have a tail. They don't. They don't have a stingy, a stingy thing. Um, but they're kind of cool. Tailless whip scorpions. They look alien. Uh, they are really, really fast. I'll see if I can get this guy onto my hand real quick, because you guys will be able to see him some better. Um, but they're super fast. We had this guy out earlier, but ugh, they're still freaky, you know. 
They're still like a crazy bug. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go too fast. I like things that move fast. You know, yeah, that's they why. Move really fast. Yeah, that's why I don't mind like big, big tarantulas. Well, I don't know about all big tarantulas, but the big tarantulas that I've held are not fast movers. They kind of like, you know what I mean? They go like this, but like the baby spiders are like, doom, doom, doom. No, I don't like that. Like jumping spiders that you find in your house, I'm more scared of that than I am like one of these big scorpion, uh, tarantulas rather. Yeah. What are you holding right here? I'll just show it off. Uh, it's just uh, kind of a little medium sized Arizona blonde tarantula. Okay, so this is an Arizona blonde. Again, a another friendlier tarantula. I'm not gonna take it out. You guys got two species of scorpion. That is plenty for one video. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, conquer your fears, do it. Don't be afraid. You know, if you're afraid of snakes, you're afraid of lizards, just try it. It is scary, don't get me wrong. I'm legitimately sweating from holding the scorpion. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. Promise you I'm sweating. Um, but actually going for it and doing it and conquering your fears is awesome. It fe oh God, he's moving super fast. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, see, conquer your fears. Super cool.